Welcome back to the Stump for Moving and Storage YouTube channel. As always, I'm Sean, and today I have with me a flat screen television. As we all know, flat screen televisions are extremely fragile, and we have to take extra care when moving them. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly how a professional would pack a flat screen in order to prevent any damage. We're gonna get into it in just a second, but before I do, if you guys enjoy this video, if you learned something, please hit that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will help you prepare for your next move. Now, all of the material that we need to perform this pack are laid out in front of me here. We have a tape dispenser and a roll of packing tape. We have brown paper pads, packing paper, and a set of mirror packs. Now, if you're not familiar with what a mirror pack is, you can click or tap the screen right now. That will take you over to our video about standardized moving boxes, and it explains in depth what these mirror packs are and what they're used for. So we could forgo all of the details and we could just get right into the packing here. If you guys need any of the material that's laid out here that I just explained, go ahead and take a look in the description below. We have Amazon links to it all right there for you. So they'll be shipped right to your house. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get all this other stuff out of the way because we're gonna need to lay the paper pads out. So we'll take the TV and we'll set it in a nice safe spot. All right. We'll just move the paper till we're ready for it. Spread our paper pads out. All right guys, now that we have the TV, we're gonna go ahead and place the screen down. With the screen down, we're ensuring that we have the most protection and we could fold the paper pads up and over. It's kind of like you're wrapping a Christmas present or a birthday present. We're gonna use our tape to secure the pads in place. Now that we have the TV wrapped in paper pads, we'll go ahead and set it to the side, again, in a nice safe area. Now we'll go ahead and take this extra paper pads, get them out of the way. We wanna store them until we're ready to use them later on another project. All right guys, now we're gonna go ahead and assemble our mirror pack. Picking it up, we bend it in half like that. They come with edges that are pre-folded. So all you have to do is fold it back into place like that. We'll take our tape dispenser. And tape the flaps. I've already gone ahead and set up the other three of these just to make things faster for us here. So what you do is you take one and slide it into the other and you get to a point where you think that's the size that you're gonna be working with. This is just like packing a picture or anything else like that. Now we're gonna go ahead, and set this to the side while we pick up our paper again. Now this is our packing paper, guys. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of it and we're gonna crumble it up and set it down inside of the mirror pack. 
this is going to act as a cushion so that the TV is not sitting directly on cardboard, which could be sitting on something else. So we want to crumble it up and we want to leave it light and airy. That's the big, the big ticket there. Make sure it's light and airy. Don't crumble it into a tight ball. So that's what I mean by a, a crumbling it and leaving it light and airy because it's going to be able to compact if the uh, TV gets jostled. So it'll give it the cushion that's needed to protect it. And then we do it for as much as we need to gain the protection that we want. Okay, I'll bring you guys in for a closer look so you can see exactly what it looks like whenever we have the paper in it. You guys can see that's exactly what I'm talking about, how it's light and airy. Right before I grabbed the TV, I adjusted the box accordingly. Now we're just gonna slide it in there, just like that. Now you can see there's some room on either side, but I want that because I'm gonna put some paper down as a cushion. So we'll continue to pack this full paper. We don't wanna force paper in there, but we do want to make sure we have something in there to provide a cushion so that there's no damage to the television. We're not putting anything in front. This is the screen here. We're not going to be putting anything up there because we don't want any issues. We don't want anything hitting the screen, we don't want any penetration. That's why we have the paper pad on there to, to give it an extra level of protection. The excess, we're just folding it over onto the edge. We're not, we're not going crazy with it. Okay, guys, we're going to set these together right now. That just makes it a little bit easier for us. And now this side has to be bigger because it's going to go over top of what we've already done. That should work. And we'll take a little bit of paper, place it in. I like to go into the middle first and work my way out when it comes to the top. And I do that because once we place the top on, we're gonna have to scoot it together. So if you have paper all the way across and make it difficult to scoot the ends into each other. One more piece. All right, there we have it. So, I don't know if you guys could see in there. We have some paper. It's light and airy, as I like to say. Sometimes it can be a challenge lining everything up here. Just gotta, just gotta deal with it. There we go. Give it a nice tap on either end. Okay, once you guys stop, don't force it because then you'll start crushing that paper down. But 
that's kind of telling you you're in a good spot here. We're lined up on either end here. Now we'll go ahead and take our tape and we'll wrap tape around it to hold it together. Go ahead and get this paper out of the way. We're done with this for now. So we can wrap it up and put it away. Now we'll take the TV, bring it up so you guys can see how we do this. Personally, I don't like to use a tape dispenser for this particular part of the packing. I would rather just use the roll in my hand. So then we start it, we bring it all the way around back, around the front. I like to do this twice, pulling it tight as I go. Now we'll go ahead and do that around the bottom. I have a little bit of an overhang right here. Most of the weight is on the table still. Just enough so I could run the tape around. And if you have to, have somebody help you hold it. Okay, we're gonna do the same over here, guys. We really want we could run one in the middle kind of like that on this particular TV There you have it guys, a professionally packed television that's ready to be shipped across country. Now before we go ahead and put it in the truck, we do have to mark it. So I'll go ahead and get a marker and I'll show you guys how we would mark it. Okay, just as always, like everything we box up in the right hand corner, we're gonna write C dot P and underline it, that means carrier packed. Carrier is us. We, Stump Moving and Storage is the carrier for this shipment, so carrier packed. If the homeowner would have packed this, we would have labeled it as PBO on the inventory sheets. So being that we packed this, we write CP on the box, that way we know that it's a box we packed, and then on the inventory, we'll write CP. Since we're carrier packed, PBO, packed by owner, you guys get it. And then on the opposite side, we'll write the homeowner or shipper's name, name, and what it is, TV. And then you could get into exactly where it went if they have more than one TV. So we'll go LR for living room. You have living room TV, CP. Now we're not done with the protection of this TV yet. The next step 
is to load it into the truck and proper loading is proper protection. You guys have to be able to load this properly in order to guarantee its safety to the final destination. So having, having loaded it properly into the truck, we can rest assured that nothing's happening here because we did a fantastic job packing it. And you guys can do this for any size television. Mirror packs come in different sizes. There's large mirror packs, there's small mirror packs. These happen to be your medium to small type mirror packs because this TV was about a, probably a 48 inch TV somewhere in, in that area, give or take. But you could do this all the way up into the 60s. However, once you get that big, I recommend you crate it. It's, it's not worth it. Those things are way too big at that point. Um, it's just easier to have it crated, which we'll do another video about another time. But for a small 48 inch TV, 50 something inch TV, this is a professional way to do it. Now, back in the day, TVs were not packed because they were console TVs or they were these big monsters that were about as big as your four or five or your three one cartons. So they could fit right into the load and they were pretty much square. So there was no issues. You just load around, you wrap them in a moving pad, but you load them into the truck. Nowadays, with these flat screens, they are a liability and a headache. And if they're not packed properly, they'll break. If you look at them wrong, they'll break. These things are a real pain in the neck. So make sure you have them packed properly, make sure you have it loaded properly, and you'll be good to go. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button for me. If you guys need any of the materials to get this job done, go ahead and take a look in the description below. We have them all listed right there for you. And while you're at it, guys, subscribe to the channel because we're trying to shed light in the moving and storage industry. We're adding transparency while we prepare you for your next move. And we're hoping you're getting value out of that. And well, if you are, I know you are because you're hitting that like button. Until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.